What's up, fellow tacticians? Tactical 101 here. And today we're in the kitchen. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some sandwiches. So, sandwiches are essentially sandwiches, but they are paninified and they contain multiple of everything. It was prepare some meats. So, as you can see here, I have some uh, prosciutto. Let's get down here. Okay, it's prosciutto, Italian dry salami and dry cappa and black pepper scented Italian dry salami. Just get a bunch of them. Okay, so the last shots were kind of bad, but you get this nice meat right here, okay? You got your uh, uh, salami, and then you got your prosciutto, and you're going to want to rest that right on here. Next most important thing is the cheese. Now the cheese is what really makes the sandwich work, you know what I'm saying? So, right here I've got this nice Jarlsberg, I don't know what this is, but it's good cheese. And I use it when I make my sandwiches. So what we're going to want to do is get a nice, nice little piece of cheese, get a couple of pieces of cheese just to uh, get it on the whole the whole sandwich. And they don't have to be fancy slices or whatever, just get the, the get, just get the cheese on there. Okay. So you're going to want to put your cheese all on this. Okay, so I know I said the cheese is one of the most important, what, the most important part, but what really makes a sandwich a sandwich is the sauce. So I've got some classic yellow mustard right here, and of course you're gonna want to shake it to the bottom because the worst, the worst thing possible, you open it and you get watery mayonnaise or mustard. So what we're gonna do is put some nice, nice mustard on there. Uh, let me get a butter knife. You're gonna want to spread that all over there, yeah. Mm. This is looking real good. Let's get that. Okay. Now, next thing uh, is the mayo. So we're gonna take this big thing of mayo here. We're gonna put it right there. We're gonna get some more. Right there. Okay. Now, those are the two sauces. It you can really do whatever sauces you want, but this is just how I make my sandwiches. Now, the third and most important sauce of all. You're never gonna expect this. Well, you might, but it's it's horseradish. So we got some nice deli horseradish here. And this is what makes the sandwich the sandwich. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just gonna want to get some fat, fat horseradish globs, and then we're gonna want to put these on here, like that. Mm. Now, if you think it's a little, little juicy on one side, what you can do is you can just take it to the other side, get it over there, put it over there. So now, this is the perfect setup sandwich. Let me just check if there's any more cheeses. Honestly, you could. You, there's nothing wrong with going multiple cheeses, but I only really have this one right now. So now, we're gonna put this right here. The next step is what makes this exciting. You know, you can put it in a broiler, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put it in a panini machine, all ready to go. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook that. Okay, open this up. Put that right there. Look at that. Perfect. Then we're gonna want to close this. And and it, you don't honestly, you don't even have to cook it for that long. I just like to get it flat and get it warm. That's it. But I don't really care for melting the cheese or anything. It, it sure does make it better, but you, you don't need it. So the panini's been the panini machine has been firing for maybe a minute now. So we're gonna want to get our classic plate. Right out here, okay, and then we're gonna want to open it up. Oh, look at that! That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna apply a set of capital pressure. There we go. Perfect. This is the ultimate sandwich, guys. So then you're just gonna want to grab it and throw it on a plate. Okay, close this, and then you're gonna want to turn this panini machine all the way down because that, that thing's hot. And then we're gonna want to unplug it. All right, and then you take your sandwich. 
take it over to the nearest table. Let me turn it off. And there it is, guys. So here we are with the, with the sandwich. And it's best served, actually, if you cut it open. Like that. Get it all open like that. Okay. Now, if you ladies and gents look at this, it's greasy and hot and gooey, and this is the best. Alright. So, there you have it. This is a slamwich, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that right there. That's just perfect. What's up, fellow tacticians? Tactical 101 here, and here I am editing the video. And so, the any part where I signed off was kind of gross because I was eating, and I know you saw a little bit just before this, but I was just signed off now. So, this was the first cooking video I've done on my channel. I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed making the video. Uh, sandwiches are a lot of fun, they're really good. I am yet again just trying to finish this video because my camera keeps dying, but here <laughs> I'm finally editing this video, finishing it off, and see you guys later. I'm Tactical101.